Yes, it was a Marcus Aurelius quote. The, the, the bottom of the quote was about instead of thinking about what it is to be a good man, it's better to just be one. It is, I was, and it hit me when he said it. I was like, wow. Like, that is actually what's missing. There's so much pontificating and philosophizing and theorizing and so many argu- and arguing right. about theories. Right. But who's fully embodied and integrated and actually living it? And whoever it is, they're not in there. They're not in there. Like, I know for me, like, once I started to become more of it, I stopped arguing about it. Right. One of the last chapters of Power of Now Eckhart Tolle says the same thing, and he says it as so many people, when they learn about this, they want to go and try to tell everybody about it. He's like, but what's more important than doing that is to become present yourself. Right. Become present yourself, and when you do that, you become the example of it, and that's much more powerful than telling people about it. And I remember going, right. Oof. And then that matches Gandhi's be the change you want to see in the world, and I'm like, okay. These are all, mm. to my eyes, some really, really mm. great men, some, some really self-mastered men, and mm. this really stands out. And there's, like this, there's a deep level of truth that cannot be argued there. And therefore, it comes down to the thing that is, that is the most difficult, which is to actually do the work to, to become what it is that we are aiming for. Do you find, like, as you're saying this, I'm just recognizing, like, the, the, the easiest thing and the hardest thing simultaneously is to do the work, right? Like the hardest thing is, act, well, actually, the hardest thing is actually not to do the work, right? Realistically, like the easiest thing as far as your life is concerned is to do the work. Like doing the work will make your life easier. Yeah. Not doing the work will make your life harder. And so I'm just like, uh-huh. what, yes. like, w- it's almost like where where the where the question go? Like, it. I, I I think what I'm trying to ask is, w- yeah. Why why do you think we and people we we spend so much time talking about it and getting really really competent and really intellectually like understanding the intricacies of it, yet we may still not be actually living it. Right. Like, what's that disconnect? Presence. Feeling. That's why. If we, if we talk about something, we don't, have to, we don't feel what it is that's actually happening. Mm. We can talk mm-hmm. about, we can talk about um, suffering, but we're not... We, we don't feel the suffering that we're talking about. We just think about the suffering. Mm. If we talk about the problems, by default, by talking about the problems, we don't feel the consequence of the problems. Because when we talk about it, our attention is so, in our mind. So, that's so interesting. Yeah. If our attention's in yeah. our mind, it's not here in the present moment in our body or, or in front of us. Mm. So therefore, we can't feel it. And so therefore, if feeling is much more, is much more real, more um, uh, experiential. It's much more experiential than talking about it because it's the only thing that's really, it's, the, it's what's really happening. The mind is something that, is, that doesn't exist in the present moment. So when we talk about things, we're not, we're not fully accepting what is happening now. So it's easy to talk about things because it's easier to not accept. Okay. If we were to accept, accept things happening now, then what yeah. happens is, let's say we go, we want to go and stop suffering. Okay. So we both agree. Yeah, we're going to stop suffering. Okay. So now if we want to stop suffering, that means we should do something right now. But now we come back to the moment right now and say, okay, then we need to do something now. What do we do? Mm-hmm. The moment if we go, well, let's talk about suffering, but no, we know talking about suffering doesn't do anything. If we focus on now, suddenly there's something more we have to do. Mm. But if we don't focus on now, then we can just mm. talk, we can be, we can just talk about it, not be present to what actually needs to be done, just talk about it, mm. and therefore ride the gratification of we, we, uh, mm. 
we discussed it. It almost like is a placeholder or, or it mimics or simulates accomplishment. The, right, that's right. No, this is this is like this is how dopamine works. It's right. like you can you can watch a YouTube video on building a business and get a simulatory response as if you are doing it or right. talking about it. It's the same it's this the same thing. You can put a, a post out on your Facebook or talk to people about your goals and your plans and you get a little bit of a dopamine response because dopamine is there to trigger motivation for a future experience. So it, it simulates that like that that response of reward as if you did the thing, but it's only there to get you to do the thing. Right. But it's so it's like we can hijack that mechanism um, and and just use it as a replacement. Right, right. And like like not to not to um, interrupt your train of thought but like where where I'm feeling this is going is like feeling the effects of life you know like I'm going through a situation like going through a breakup going through something mm -hmm. that feels traumatizing or that is triggering a trauma I know that there is a tendency for me to reach out to close friends mm -hmm. in process discuss um and I think that, so it's like, it's interesting, right? Because I think there, there's a, it's a, it's a yes and, right? Mm -hmm. There's a time to talk and to process and to share. And then there's a time to fully experience and feel. And what I'm hearing from you is like. There needs to be an understanding. With the understanding, we can then come to a level of acceptance of what's happened. But without so, the understanding, so there's no, there's no acceptance. The understanding has sometimes, sometimes takes time to think about it, talk about right, it, right. see different perspectives of it, and then we go, okay, I understand now. See, guilt is not understanding. Guilt mm, is, still, is, still, mm. is still resistance, mm. therefore continues to go ahead. You can't, we can't accept something if we feel guilty about it. So we have to get to a level of understanding. Well, Then once we get to the level of understanding through talking about it, thinking about it, feeling it, then it's like, okay, now we can accept what's happened. But some, sometimes we can get to it really quickly. Sometimes um, it takes a while. It depends on 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 uh, each person. You know, like yeah. something I I've been talking about this a little bit, not too much, not too much, um, a little bit. But you know how? So my sister passed away about a few months ago. Oh wow! Yeah, like. Um, while, while we were moving in here, almost. And just like maybe three months ago. Hasn't even been that long. And so I talk about it once in a while. Not very often. Mm -hmm. But just, uh, just mm -hmm. enough. I usually use it as a good example. Mm -hmm. Because when I think about, like, drama. Mm -hmm. When I think about, like, um, situations. Family death is usually a pretty big one. It will be it will be kind of tough to to uh, um, to top that, right? It would either be your own death. <laughs> Besides that, who else? You know, your son dying, mm -hmm. mom dying, sister dying, mm -hmm. brother dying. Death is probably a little bigger than losing my house, losing my job, losing my everything I owned. Well, yeah, you just you lost someone. The life is gone. That's probably like the bigger one. So being in my work of helping people, you know, overcome things like this. So sometimes I bring it in as like an example, you know, and especially because like, you know, how you were talking about now, you're like, hey, I'm going through it now. So you use it as an example. So this will bring some context to we're what we're talking about. We're talking about loss, the feeling of something that's lost yeah. in a part of you that kind of goes with it, right? So, well, when we talk about understanding, hmm. so hers was, her death was about three months ago. And my father's death was about, uh, about a little less than three years ago, maybe about like two and a half years ago. And to be honest, mother's health is not the best. So I wouldn't be surprised if, she's on her, if she'll be on her way out soon. She just got out of the, she was just in the hospital, very recent. Mm -hmm. So, and those, and that's my immediate family, that's it. <laughs> you know, that's it. And I'm not close with anybody else. So as mm -hmm. far as family goes, that's it. Now, mm -hmm. when it comes to like understanding, 
because I have an understanding of, of what happens afterwards mm. and also a general understanding of what is happening here now. It allows me to be able to accept, mm -hmm. accept mm -hmm. it and therefore the stories in the mind doesn't, there's not any stories yeah. because yeah. there's an understanding. Without the understanding, there would be a lot of stories. And I, can, and I can imagine that if somebody was in my scenario who lived, through, who lived through exactly the same thing, there could be plenty of stories like, you know, could have flew back over there and been there for the last, you know, the last two weeks of her life or, you know, all, like all of these what if, could have, all this stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. But yet, with my understanding, what I did made perfect sense. Mm -hmm. I, inside, mm -hmm. I already knew that she was going to be on her way out. You know, we all, we all knew. And, but being on her way out didn't mean that it was going to be, it was that she was going to be gone. It's just that right now, in this present life, now, it's not here. You know? And so, with that understanding, there's a level of, okay, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. And with okay with that, then the emotions that are connected to it has a chance to be able right. to right. to come. They don't right. get reinforced constantly. Because mm -hmm. we know how these trauma goes, that when there's a lack of acceptance, that that uh, story and that um, these thoughts and this belief continues to create that emotion. And it becomes like this, this now source of mm -hmm. constantly fueling it. Yeah. And now we can't get away. Yeah. And so... Yeah. I, I didn't really experience very intense emotions, even with my father passing away as well. It was there, it came, and then it settled off. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that I think is, and when I think about these things, if we can, if we can move forward in the direction that we want in life and not get stopped by challenges, yeah. whatever form, yeah. then we can say, number one, we, we are operating in a, in a high sense of freedom. Because these challenges, if we can't move forward past the challenges, then we are imprisoned within our own mind and within our own It affects us throughout our life. Yeah. 